guys, it's Steph here with Crafty Ladybug. Today's lesson is going to be on the Jumbo Flower Pot Pail or Popcorn Bucket. You can use it for whatever you wish, but we're going to be doing the Jumbo version today, which is 14 loops around on your loom. If you've made any of the other buckets, the Jumbo is 14, the large was 12, the medium was 10, and the small was 8. Other ideas that you can do is to turn it into the popcorn bucket by using a variegated band as you go around, using a red, a white, a red, a white, and so on. Or you can also turn it into the flower pot with the sunflower in it. This will be on my website. If it's not already on the website, it will be on very soon for you to view. So stay tuned for those items. We're going to begin today's lesson with the loom with the arrows pointing towards the left. Your center peg is removed. We need our hook and about 115 bands in the color of your choice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on an upper peg here and I'm going to come down six times. Two, three, four, five, six, my seventh peg is going to be, or my seventh band is going to be coming down. Then I'm going to work six more this way, and I'm going to finish up on that end. So we need to work number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, and all of these are single bands, number 12, number 13, and for band number 14, I need you to pick up band number one with your hook, and we're going to put band number 14 down first, and then we're going to put band number one back on top of it. So we have made a large enclosed rectangle. Our next step is going to be to start to loop the upper links in which you need to reach into the first peg, wiggle out that bottom band, and move it down. I need to loop these, but because it's in an awkward movement for me, I have to pick it up and turn my loom some. You wanna reach in through those top two bands, grab the bottom band, and move it down. We're going to do this all the way down. Move that down. If you have bands slide off the pegs, you do need to place those back on the pegs, as I just had that happen right there. Reach in, move down. Going too fast for you, hit the pause button to catch up. We're just reaching in to the peg and looping down our loom. Now I've reached the area where it becomes the different angle. So I'm just reaching in and I'm carrying it over. Reach in and we're going to loop up. This is the easy side. Just straight looping up. And now we have kind of this odd looking shape here. You need to still reach in, grab that band, and move it forward. And as you'll see, and I did that sort of on purpose so you would know, that this band just fell off. We need to place that back around its peg. We need to push all of these down. And our next step is going to be to layer 14 bands around in the same direction. And because I lose track of how many times I do it, I place a counter band right here on my loom and that's going to let me know that I'm starting row one. We need to have seven rows total for this project. So I'm going to do the first two rows with you and then you can do the others after you hit pause. But we're just taking one band and we're going right around the loom again just as we did when we started. But then the looping is going to be different. So we just keep going around 
all the way till we get back to the end. And finish off like that. You do not need to lift the first one back up again. We just need to close it off just like that. Now we need to start to loop. To loop, you wanna reach into your first peg, your starting peg on the outside, grab those bands and loop over. Bottom two bands and loop over. I'm grabbing the bottom two bands and I'm looping over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. Reach this last peg here on this side. Bottom two and over. Moving on, bottom two and over. Quite repetitive. Just two and over. Bottom two and over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. And as I said, if I'm going too fast for you, just hit the pause button. In the bottom left corner of your screen, you will see the pause button. Hit that to catch up. Now that was row number one. This is going to be row number two that I'm now laying out. Remember, we need to have a total of seven rows. So we're just going to continue to go around the loom with our second row. And make sure you get them all laid on there. And we're going to loop over again. And then you guys are going to finish up the rest of the rows off camera. You're going to hit the pause button and do that off camera. I'm turning back to my starting peg. Bottom two, loop over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, over. Bottom two, and over. Two, over. Two, over. Bottom 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 two, and over. Bottom two, and over. That's row number two. You just want to push those down. Push all of that stuff down and make room for your row number three, which you're going to do row number three, four, five, six, and seven. So you've got five more rows to do off camera and by yourself. So when you hit the pause button now, we join back. You're going to have all seven rows done for me. Hey guys, and welcome back. You should have your seven layers of bands on your loom. I also want you to take a moment and I want you to separate out and make sure that the bottom band is all the way down at the bottom portion of each peg. Be sure that they're not twisted because in the next couple steps, we need to make sure that we're getting our bottom bands. If we don't get the bottom bands, our whole creation could fall apart. So just make sure that all of your bottom bands are separated out and you can definitely see and tell which ones are the bottom bands on that peg. To form the bottom portion of the bucket or pail pot, whatever you decide to use this as, we're going to be doing a starburst type of technique where you're, you're looping to the same peg. How I start that is by taking a single band, wrap it around my hook twice. So you have what looks like two bands on there. Take two bands and pull through that. And then you want your twisted band in the center there. The next thing we need to do is to try to match up the ends so that you're getting the same rubber band on each side. This is a little difficult for some but you want it to be able to stretch out and open. So you have a squishy kind of open area in the center. 
we're going to take that and we're going to stretch it and it's going to be a lot of tension here i'm not going to fib to you this bigger bucket is a lot of tension we're going to stretch it from our starting peg one end from the starting peg and the other end is going to go all the way down here on the opposite corner side all the other bands that we're going to do will be reaching from the top into the center. You want to make sure that you're getting into the center of that opening. And what we're going to do is to slide our hook into that center. And we're going to be taking a rubber band and pulling it up through that center. Reclaim it back on your hook. And you want to carry this one off to the other corner. Placing that band there. Reach in again. I'm coming in the opposite direction now so I can do this corner over here. Reach in through, reclaim, and stretch that band. A lot of tension. Stretch that band all the way out and across to that corner. This has given our opening a little bit more space now, so it's going to be making doing these other pegs much easier. So we're going to be using 14 bands total in this area because we've got 14 pegs that we're going to. And I'm just reaching in, pulling through, and securing it on a peg. I'm going to do this side first. Reach in, pull through, secure it on the peg. Reach in, pull through, secure it on that peg. Last peg for this side. Reach in, pull it up, reclaim, and place it on that peg. If I'm going too fast, hit the pause button. Next, I need to do the other side. And in order to do the other side, I feel more comfortable turning the loom. So reach in, fly a rubber band off into space, <laughs> reach in, reclaim and place on the loom. Reach in, reclaim, and place on the loom. Reach in, reclaim, and replace on the loom. Reach in, reclaim, and place on the loom. Last one. Yay! <laughs> Reach in, reclaim, and place on the loom. Okay, so now we have got a very large looking stretched out band here, but once we do the release, it's going to, to shrink things up and it's going to be okay. If you break any bands, if your bands are older and they are deteriorating a little bit, this might be where you have a problem. Um, you may have to replace that band or do two bands two times around if you're in fear of your bands breaking. So I'm going to turn my loom again, and I'm going to come up here to my starting point. And I know that that's my starting point because my air is pointing towards the left. I want you guys to take your hook, and we're going to reach in there, and we're going to get that band on the very bottom. You want the bands that are on the very bottom. Reach into your peg inside, not the outside like we did before. Wiggle it out and you're going to move it over to the left. Reach into that left peg, grab that bottom band, pull it up through, wiggle it out, and move it down a peg. We are actually forming, these loops are forming the bottom rim of the bucket, and this is what's tying off the whole bucket. Reach in, pull out that bottom band, and come over. If you're not grabbing that bottom moose band, it will make your product fall apart. You want to know how I know? I didn't do it. I didn't grab the bottom band one time and my creation just fell apart. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just still reaching in, grabbing that bottom band and looping it to the next peg. Reach in, bottom band, loop. This one here is going to have a lot of tension on it. We're going to reach in, pull it up through, and loop it over to the right. Now we can loom up our right side, reaching in, grabbing that bottom band, 
coming forward, reach in all the way through, bottom band, come forward, reach in all the way through. I didn't get all of them, didn't get by all of them to get to my bottom band. So sorry, it's gonna take me just a second. Bottom band and come forward, reach in, bottom band. These guys are a little tricky. Might need some assistance with another finger. And loop forward, reach in, bottom band, loop forward, reach in, bottom band, loop forward. And here we're back to our starting point. And you guys need to sort through your starting point bands and make sure that you're getting the bottom band again. Just separate them out to make sure that you're getting the bottom band. You need to do that on your starting peg. And you need to also do that on your second peg over here. I'm reaching into my starting peg. I'm getting that bottom band and I'm going to move it up onto my hook. So I just grabbed it out and I moved it up onto my hook. I'm not looping it forward to any peg. I'm going to reach into this peg on the left, reach in, grab that bottom band, wiggle it out, and place it on my hook. This is what's tying off our whole creation. Take another single band, pull that through those two, Reclaim that back on your hook, and then you're going to tie it off with a slip knot. And that is the whole entire thing done and made with one knot to worry about. Now, let's see how good we did. We're going to take the back of our hook, and we're going to gently pull the product off the loom. I always use the back of my hook because there's so much tension with different things. And we will see how this turned out. Here's our bucket in order to get it to look a little bit nicer than what it currently does right now. You wanna stick your fingers in the top and you just wanna give it a stretch and a twist. Just keep stretching and twisting as you go around and that is going to fill out your bottom nicely. Here we have our little tie off band. You wanna reach into the top Grab that band and just simply pull it back through and tuck it inside. And here we have got our jumbo popcorn bucket or our flower pot as I'm going to use it as. I didn't tuck my knot in there far enough so it's not going to sit flat for me. Not well. So here is our jumbo bucket. This one here looks a little smaller because it was done with a different type of band. So they didn't have as much elastic. Yeah, guys, I still can't say that word. Um, so it looks a little smaller because the bands were tighter, basically. These are Rainbow Loom Caramel bands, so they kind of have a little bit more stretch and give to them. But that's going to be a flower pot for me. You can make it any color you wish. You can turn it into a bucket for cleaning dishes. No, I don't think it'll work for that. It'd be a little bit, um, would not retain too much water, but I hope you guys will visit some of my other creations such as the popcorn bucket done same way, except for variegating red and white. And on my channel will be the sunflower in the bucket. If it's not on my channel already, it will be very soon. Visit me online at www craftyladybugcreations.com or my Facebook page at craftyladybug-rainbowloomcreations. Thanks so much guys. Hope to see you again soon.